more than halfway through 2021 now. And whether you're still on the train, need to get back on board, <laughs> we've got you covered here. Try to keep you on track with whatever goals you make. That's right. One of my favorite guests joining us now with the expert advice for getting a reset with your resolutions. Yes, it is New York Times bestselling author and host of the Happier with Gretchen Rubin podcast that I listen all the time to on my way into work. <laughs> Gretchen Rubin, thank you for being with us today. So, yes, we've just mentioned a lot of people may have fallen off of that New Year's resolution. It's mid-July. You got six months left to go. What's your advice to people who need that reinvigoration? They need to restart. Well, it's true. A lot of people have fallen off the wagon. Um, but what research shows is that people who show compassion to themselves, who aren't too hard on themselves, actually re-engage better. So it, you're in good company if you're struggling. Um, so go easy on yourself. And one thing that really helps a lot of people is outer accountability. Hmm. Get that outer accountability. If you want to read more, join a book group. Uh, my sister wanted to walk 10,000 steps in a day, so she and a friend text each other when they hit 5,000 and when they hit 10,000 um, because they're holding each other accountable. Or you could think about how you want to be a role model for other people. You want to see, you want them to see you going to bed on time or leaving work at 6 p.m. or whatever it is. Think about the outer accountability of yourself as role model. There's a lot of ways to create outer accountability once you realize that that's what's helping you. Okay, that helps the outer accountability. What else can be done here? Well, something that's helpful is to identify or anticipate a problem, because once you identify a problem, then you start to see solutions. So maybe you haven't been good about exercising because in the past you always went to the gym across the street from your office. And right now you haven't been doing that. So you've identified a problem. What can be the solution? Or maybe you've been eating really healthy meals because you've had more time to cook because you haven't been commuting. Well, you can anticipate that if you start commuting again, that might become a problem. So you want to think about how you can set yourself up for success success by thinking about what those challenges might be. And I love your final tip, Gretchen. Tell us what it is. And that is to remember that the right time to begin is now. It is easy to get discouraged with wishing that, you know, you've been doing something all along. Um, but there's a wonderful proverb that says the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time to plant a tree is now. And the best time to start, you know, uh, working out regularly is 20 years ago. And the second best time <laughs> is now. Now is what we have. Don't wait for August 1. Don't wait for January 1, 2022. Start now. I love that. Gretchen Rubin, thank you so much for joining us today. And everyone, for more of Gretchen's great advice, there's a lot of it. You can check out her latest book, Outer Order, Inner Calm. It is out now. Did you do the resolutions thing? I don't uh, think you did, did you? No, you know, because every day is a resolution, yeah, right? You I, know, you just make your mind up every day to do something. Uh, dang, gummit. I'm Good, the same right? way. You are. I know. I uh, know. Okay. He was rolling his eyes at me through all of that because he <laughs> hates how much we're alike. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.